Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 1H stage of the 2023 National Championship of the National Science and Math Quiz. Competing in this contest are Holy Child School, Asin State College, and Achimota School. Let's meet the contestants. Holy Child School is represented by Smith Paula and Erika Maunyega. So, Paula and Elikem, how has the journey been in the competition so far? Well, we began in the prelim stage and we were the highest top running school. We were part of that list and we succeeded to be in this stage and we hope to make use of this second chance. Okay. I wish you all the best. Aston State College is represented by... Ilya Suisha, final year. And Esi Ahima Beidu, second year. Okay. So, Aston State College is the seeded school for this contest. So, tell us, how has your preparation been? Actually, we are preparing very well, and we've prepared very well, and we are going to win this contest. Okay. I wish you all the best as well. Achimota School, represented by... Elagbe Walter Abiu, final year. And... Egba Joe, Kenneth Bakita, final year. So, Achimota, how has the journey been? God has been with us, and he was able to help us to qualify to come to this stage. And we have come in his grace to do our best. Okay. I wish you all the best as well. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Goel PLC and supported by Joy News, AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pestilent Toothpaste, Better Malt, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cow Bell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont, Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. I am Dr. Anita Opon, your quiz mistress, and this is a primetime production. So ladies and gentlemen, this contest has five rounds. And I'll begin from round one. And in round one, the questions go to each school. You have 10 seconds or 30 seconds to give an answer. The question is for each school, so it's yours. So take your time and give me one answer. The answer you want to give once on a one attempt. Because if you give me two answers, I will take neither of them. Are we OK? If you give a correct answer, three points. If it's incorrect, I may pass the question on for a bonus. That's when the other two schools get the opportunity to ring the bell. Okay? Uh -huh. If you ring the bell and you give a correct answer, one point. If it's incorrect, a deduction of one point. You can also ring the bell if the school is bailed out. Okay. A preamble to all schools. Find the equation of the image of the given curve after a reflection in the line x equals pi over 2. Holy Child School. y equals sine x. Okay, we have it to be y equals cos x. Incorrect. For a bonus. Achimota school. Y equals cos x. As in state, sorry. As in state. Y equals cos x. Yes. 
Eliasu. We have y equals negative sign x. Incorrect. For your bonus, Achimota School, y equals tan x. Yes, Walter. Y equals negative tan x. That's correct. <laughs> so, the first one, y equals sine x. The second one, y equals negative cos x. Another preamble. Distinguish between open vascular bundles and closed vascular bundles with respect to the following. Holy Child School, Cambium. Okay, the open, the open vascular has cambium, while the closed does not have cambium. Yes, yes. As in states, where they occur in plants. Okay, the cambium that's in the open, okay, uh, the open uh, vascular bundles okay, okay uh, in, between, in between the primary and the primary, in between the primary xylem and the primary phloem. Whereas the closed vascular bundles occur okay, between the secondary xylem and the secondary fluid. That's incorrect. For a bonus. Ashimoto School. Secondary xylem and secondary phloem. In the closed, in the closed system, there is no secondary xylem or secondary phloem, but in the open system, you have the formation of secondary phloem and secondary xylem. That's correct. <laughs> so, where they occur in plants, open vascular bundles occur in dicots and gymnosperms stem, while closed vascular bundles are found in leaves and monocot stems. Another preamble, point charge Q1 and Q2 are distant D apart. Find the magnitude of the force each charge exerts on the other, given that point charges Q1 and Q2 are distant D apart. Find the magnitude of the force each charge exerts on the other, given that Holy Child School, Q1 equals 3.2 Coulomb, Q2 equals 5.0 nanocoulomb, and D equals 3.0 meters. Yes, Paula. 16 Newton. That's correct. As in states, Q1 equals 3.5 nanocoulomb, Q2 equals 4.2 coulomb, and D equals 2.1 meters. Yes, Ilyasu. Go on. 63 Newton. Incorrect. Achimata for a bonus. 30 Newtons. 30 Newtons. <laughs> Your major question. Q1 equals 4.0 Coulomb. Q2 
PO2 equals 2.0 nanocoulomb and D equals 2.0 meters. Yes, Walter. 18 newtons. 18 newtons. Another preamble indicates whether the given salt will be acidic, basic, or neutral in water. Assume the given salt is soluble. Indicates whether the given salt will be acidic, basic, or neutral in water. Assume the given salt is soluble. Holy Child School. Magnesium bromide. Neutral. Neutral is correct. Assin State College, sodium phosphate. Yes, SE. Basic. Basic is correct. Achimata School, rubidium sulfide. Yes, Walter. Neutral. Incorrect. Holy Child School for a bonus. Basic. It's basic. <laughs> Another preamble. Hmm. State the type of cartilage that may be found in the following location. State the type of cartilage that can be found in the following location. Holy Child School, knees. Synovial cartilage. Incorrect. For a bonus. As in State College, end of the ribs and nose. Achimata School for a bonus. Elastic cartilage. Incorrect. Yours, Eustachian tube or the ear. Tubes in the ear. Go on. The elastic cartilage. That's correct. So the first one is fibro cartilage. The second one is highline cartilage. Another preamble. A particle is moving with a constant acceleration. Find the acceleration of the particle. If its initial velocity is u and its velocity after time t is v, given. Did you get it? A particle is moving with a constant acceleration. Find the acceleration of the particle if its initial velocity is u and its velocity after time t is v given. Holy Child School. u equals 5i minus 3j meters per second. v equals negative 4i plus 6j meters per second. t equals 3 seconds. Okay, I have One. negative 3i plus 3j meters per second squared. That's correct. <laughs> As in State College, u equals 2i plus 7j meters per second. v equals 10i minus 5j meters per second. And t equals 4 seconds. Two I 
minus 3G, all in meter per second squared. That's correct. Achimata School, U equals 9I plus 7J meters per second. V equals negative 6I plus 12J meters per second. T equals 5 seconds. Go on. We have negative 3i plus g, all in meter per second squared. That is correct. <laughs> Another preamble. An object is placed a distance u from a concave mirror of focal length f. Determine the nature and distance from the mirror of the object image, given that an object is placed a distance u from a concave mirror of focal length f. Determine the nature and distance from the mirror of the object image, given that Holy Child School f equals 24 centimeters, u equals 30 centimeters. Okay, the distance is 120 centimeters, and it is a real image. That's correct. Asin State College, F equals 30 centimeters, U equals 20 centimeters. Go on. The distance is 60 centimeters, and it is a virtual image. That's correct. Achimata School, F equals 20 centimeters, and U equals 25 centimeters. Go on, Walter. Distance equals 100 centimeters, and it is a real image. Yes, that's correct. The last set of questions for round one, a preamble as well. Determine the molecular formula of the compound formed between nitrogen and oxygen, given that determine the molecular formula of the compound formed between nitrogen and oxygen, given that Holy Child School, 2.26 grams of nitrogen and 7.74 grams of oxygen are present, and the molar mass is 62.1 grams per mole. Yes, Paula. So, so the molecular give your answer. The molecular formula is N N for O two. Incorrect. Achimota for a bonus. The molecular formula is N O three. Yes. Asin State College, 6.36 grams of nitrogen and 3.64 grams of oxygen are present, and the mo molecular mass is 88.1 grams per mole.
We have N four O two. Yes. Achimota School. Three point zero five grams of nitrogen and six point nine five grams of oxygen are present, and the molar mass is ninety two point two grams per mole. Yes, Walter. I already called you. Give your answer. We have N two O four. Yes. And that ends round one. At the end of round one, Assin State College. 12 points, Holy Child School, 16 points, and Achimota School, 22 points. <laughs> Next, we have the PEP student speed race. In this round, the questions go to all the schools simultaneously. If you are ready to give an answer, you can press your bell, then I'll call you. When I call you, you have three seconds to give an answer. Or you hear this bell. Okay. If the answer you give is correct, the first school that press the bell gets three points. The second school gets two points. And the third school that rang the bell to give a correct answer gets one point. But all incorrect answers, a deduction of one point. The speed race is proudly sponsored by PEP Student Toothpaste. Every smile matters. I hope my contestants will be smiling at the end of round two. They're already smiling, so I'm happy. First question. What is the kinetic energy of an, of an 80 kilogram object? No. What is the kinetic energy of an 8 kilogram object whose velocity is 4i. Yes. 20 joules. Incorrect. <laughs> 4i plus 3j as in states. 100 joules. Incorrect. Okay. 25 joules. Incorrect. <laughs> so it is 200 joules. Next. Find the voltage across a 15 millihenry inductor when the current in it is changing at a rate of 400 ampere per second. Achimota School. Walter. We have six volts. Yes. <laughs> Find the power developed by the force 20 J Newton when its point of application moves with velocity 3i plus 4j, Achimota School. 80 watts. That is correct. <laughs> hmm. Next question. Find the value of B and the value of C such that x minus 1 in one bracket, plus x plus 2, in another bracket, are factors of 2x squared plus bx plus c. Achimota 
Asin State College. Into the microphone, please. B is equal to 4 over 3. And C to be equal to negative 4 over 3. Incorrect. Yes, Holy Child School. B, B is equal to 2. And C is equal to negative 4. That's correct. <laughs> Next question. Find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve. Y equals the square root of the expression x squared plus 9. Ashimoto School? 0, 3. Yes. <laughs> Next question. A car is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second in a straight line. When the driver suddenly applies the brake and the car stops in a distance of 40 meters, find the retardation, assuming it is uniform. Achimota School. The retardation is 5 meters per second squared. That is correct. Yeah! Next question. A radioisotope decays from 12.8 grams to 0 0.20 grams in 2.4 hours. What is the half-life of the radioisotope? Achimoto School. We have zero point four zero hours. That is correct. <laughs> next, next question. Determine the empirical formula of an oxide of an element M containing 40% by mass of M. The atomic mass of M is 32 grams per mole. Achimata School. MO3. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. Calculate the mass of oxygen present in 2.45 grams of sodium perchlorate, given chloride is 35.5 grams per mole. One point two eight grams. <laughs> Next question. What type of speciation theory? What type of speciation theory is concerned with emergence of new species from geographic range of its ancestor? Achimota School? Allopatric speciation. No. Yes. St. Patrick speciation. St. Patrick. <laughs> Next question. Which mineral ion, when present in drinking water, can cause a condition referred to as knock knee syndrome? 
This is associated with painful joints and outward bending of legs from knees. Fluoride. What name is given to the process of covering spawned compost with a suitable material? Achimota, sorry, Holy Child School. Mulching. No. The answer is casing, and that ends round two. So I have a petition I need to address. The first physics question, where they were to find the kinetic energy of the eight kilogram objects with velocity 4i plus 3j. So yes, kinetic energy is half mv squared. And so um, V squared, in this case, will be 5 meters per second. So 25 times half of M, that's 4. So 4 times 25 is 100 joules. So Asin State gets two points. So at the end of round two, Asin State College had 13 points. Holy Child School, 19 points, and Achimota School, 38 points. Before we move to round three, a substitution for Holy Child School, Mirabel is coming in for Elikem. Round three, at stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star, which awards a team that is able to get a perfect score of 10 out of 10 for the problem of the day. At stake on this stage, I mean, at this, at this stage of the competition, the star is worth 2,400 to the team. The problem of the day is a single complex question, and you have four minutes to provide a solution on the whiteboard on the interactive screens behind you. After the four minutes, I would grade your solutions. Then I will present the solution from the consultants, then award the points for your solutions. The NSMQ star is sponsored by the Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for every life, for every future. Let's determine the future of our schools. Go to the whiteboards on your screens. Put your pens down. Then you can pick up the sheet so we go through the problem of the day. Let's face the audience, please. Face the audience. Uh -huh. Thank you. It's from chemistry. Determine the minimum amount of deionized water needed to completely dissolve 3.51 millimoles of calcium fluoride at 25 degrees Celsius. Would one require the same? more or less water if water of pH 5.0 is used instead of the ionized water. Give your explanation. Then 
you are given that the solubility product of calcium fluoride is 4.00 times 10 to the power negative, 10, negative 11 sorry, at 25 degrees Celsius. This is the problem of the day. Contestant, you have four minutes, and it begins now. So let's go through. We have the solutions from our contestants. Let's go through the solution from our consultant. They were to find the minimum amount of deionized water needed to completely dissolve 3.51 milligram of calcium fluoride at 25 degrees Celsius. So a good approach is first, you find the molar, solub solub molar solubility, sorry. And this can be done from first writing out the KSP equation and this you will get from the reaction. And that will be CaF2 solid going into Ca2 plus aqueous plus 2F minus aqueous. Then if you write the correct KSP, you get one point. The correct equation, one point. So, we were told the KSP is 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 12. Then if you equate that to the expression, it should be 4.0 4 times 10 to the power negative 12 equals 4x cubed because the concentration for C, Ca2 plus will be x and that of f will be 2x. So if you square that, it will be x multiplying 4x squared. Then you get the 4s cubed. And so where s is the molar solubility. So to find the molar solubility, you find s. That is taking the, divide the KSP by 4 and take the cube root. And that should be 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 mole per decimeter cubed. So that's also two points. If you're able to write the correct equation, one point, with the state, one point. So by finding the molar solubility, you have five points there. Then in order to find the volume needed, you need to first find the mass concentration. And from the mass concentration, determine the volume that will be needed. So in order to also get the mass concentration, you need the molecular mass of the salt. And that should be the 78 grams per mole. Then multiply that with the molar solubility, and that is 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 times 78 grams per mole. And that should give you um, the mass concentration to be 7.8 grams per decimeter cube. Sorry, 7.8 milligram per decimeter cube, another point. So from that, you can determine the volume needed, and that will be 3.51 milligram divided by 7.80 milligram per decimeter cube. So they will cancel out, uh, the milligram milligram will cancel out, leaving us with 0 0.450 decimeter cube, or 450 centimeter cube. And that's another point. So if you are able to get all correct for A, it's seven points. Then B, less water is required. That's what is being asked. Would you require more, same or less water if water of pH 5.0 is used instead of deionized water? Less water. This is because the salt, CaF2, when it dissociates in water, will produce F minus or fluoride ions, and this can undergo anionic hydrolysis, producing more hydroxide ions or OH minus in solution, which will cause the, more, uh, the salt to dissolve more. So you need less amount of water when the pH of the water is 5.0, and that is three points. Two are contestants. So, I noticed that all the contestants did not give me the states for the equations. So I'll take this as a teaching moment and award one, like not deduct the points. 
This is a teaching moment. I'm giving it to you. So, holy child, no, as in states, your equation was wrong, but you were able to show that the KSP is equal to 4S cubed. So I gave one point for that. If you had the equation, it would have been three points. Holy Child School, they were able to give the correct equation. They were able to find the KSP expression. They were able to determine the molar solubility. So five out of 10. That was where they got to. Achimota School, you were also able to write the equation, find the KSP um, expression, and you found the molar solubility. So you also found the molar mass of the salt, and you went straight to finding the volume, but I could see that you had the mass concentration in your calculation. So I awarded one mark there, and that's where you got to. So they also get six out of 10. And that ends round three. So at the end of round three, Assin State College, 14 points. Holy Child School, 24 points. And Achimota School, 44 points. Before round four, substitutions, Assin State College, we have Godfred, Aisa, right? Is that the name? Okay, coming in for AC Ahima Beidu. And for Achimota School, we have Ajiman Kenneth Owahene. Coming in for Kenneth, another Kenneth Bahite. Bakite. So Kenneth came in for another Kenneth. And then Godfred is coming in for AC. <laughs> round four, the round of statements where you tell me whether that statement is true or false. Correct answer, two points. An incorrect answer, deduction of one point. If you don't know or you are not sure of the answer, don't answer. Because the points are precious. So just leave it. And the other two schools, if they think they know, they have the opportunity to press the bell. And if the answer they give is correct, two points. If it is incorrect, a deduction of one point. I start from Holy Child School. Coxus is a vestigial organ in humans. Yes, Mira. Mira. What's the name? Mirella. Mirella. Okay. Mm. Mirella, yes. True. It's true. As in State College, nail is a vestigial organ in humans. Yes, Godfrey. False. It's false. Achimota School, Ted Mola is a vestigial organ in humans. True. It's true. A preamble. Mm -hmm. The point A, giving us negative 3, 3, is a solution of the inequality. The point A, giving us negative 3, 3, is a solution of the inequality. Holy Child School, Y squared greater than X squared. Yes, Mirella. False. It's false. As in State College, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared less than 36. Yes, Eliasu. False. It's false. Achimota School, x squared plus xy minus y squared less than zero. Yes, Walter. True. 
Yes, it's true. A preamble. Two forces act concurrently. Two forces act concurrently. Holy Child School, the forces act in opposite directions. Yes, Mirilla. False. It's false. As in State College, the forces act in the same direction. Yes, Godfred. False. It's false. Achimoto School, the resultant of the forces vanishes. False. It's false. <laughs> Holy Child School, butene always exhibits geometric isomerism. False. It's false. As in State College, if a butene has substituent, it exhibits geometric isomerism. False. It's false. Achimota, butene exhibits optical isomerism. False. It's false. Another preamble. When the dark period of a short day plant is interrupted by a brief exposure of light. When the dark period of a short day plant is interrupted by a short by a brief exposure of light. Holy Child School. The plant produces more flowers. Yes, Mirilla. False. It's false. As in State College, the plant produces flowers immediately. Godfrey. False. It's false. Achimoto School. The plant turns into a long day plant. False. It's false. <laughs> Holy Child School. The negation of a statement is always false. Yes, Mirilla. False. It's false. As in State College, if an implication is true, its converse is true. Yes, Godfrey. False. It's false. <laughs> Achimata School. If an implication is false, its converse is false. False. It's false. <laughs> 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 Holy Child School, long haul electric power transmission over power lines is preferably done at higher voltage. Mirilla, yes, false, no. <laughs> As in State College. High voltage power transmission over power lines is preferred because high transmission voltages minimizes power losses by electromagnetic radiations. Yes, Godfrey. False. It's false. <laughs> Achimata School. High voltage power transmission over power lines usually requires power transformers at generation station and distribution substation. True. It's true. <laughs> the last set of statements for round four, Holy Child School. For a completely gaseous reaction, the equilibrium constant may be influenced by a change in pressure.
Yes, Mirilla. True. No. no. Hmm. It's a false statement. As in State College, for a reaction at equilibrium, the addition of a catalyst does not influence the relative concentration of reactants and products. Yes, Godfrey. True. It's true. <laughs> Achimoto School. For a reaction at equilibrium, the addition of a catalyst results in a lower activation energy for both the forward and backward reactions. True. It's true. <laughs> and that ends round four. So, at the end of round four, Assin State College, 30 points. Holy Child School, 34 points. Achimota School, 60 points. <laughs> round five. In this round, we have the Goal Riddle Bonanza, which is rewarded to a school that solves three or all four riddles correctly. At this stage, if you solve three riddles correctly, the team gets 1,200 cities. If you solve four riddles correctly, the team gets 1,600 cities. The Goal Riddle Bonanza is proudly sponsored by Goal Good Energy. So, contestants, I'll be reading clues. And you can stop me at any time when you think you know what I'm referring to. If you give a correct answer whilst I'm on the first clue, five points. Second clue, four points. But any other number of clues there after, three points. But if that answer, unfortunately, is not correct, you have to sit out for that particular riddle. But you join us when we move to the next riddle. Are we all good? My first riddle. I am a material commonly used as a semiconductor. I have uniquely high abrasion and hence used in sharpening metals. I am also referred to as carborandum. I am formed from two elements in group 14. I may be formed from the reduction of Silicon carbide. Silicon carbide is correct. Three points. Three points. Three points. Three points. Next riddle. I was first observed as particles in the electron microscope. My structure consists of a segment of DNA wound around eight histone prote proteins. The chromosome. Say that again. The chromosome. Chromosome, incorrect. Yes, only child school. Nucleosome. Yes, nucleosome. I was on the second clue, they get four points. Next, radar. I am a polygon. I can be equiangular without being equi lateral. I have an even number of sides. In my regular form, I have a center of symmetry. In my regular form, I fit my outline in 12 positions. Achimota School. Dio Decagon. Incorrect. Asin State College. Regular Hexagon. Holy Child School. Hexagon. Hexagon. So, the answer I have is hexagon. Okay. The next, oh, the last riddle. It's actually the last riddle. I am a named law in physics. I am the first of my kind. 
I express a convention principle. Sorry, I express a conservation principle. I am sometimes referred to as a junction rule. I am the law at State College. Iliasu. The Kepler's first law. Incorrect. Achimoto School. Ketchup's first law. Ketchup's first law. <laughs> points. I was on clue number three. Sorry, number five. So three points. Three points. And that ends round five. At the end of the contest, Assin State College had 30 points. Holy Child School had 41 points. And Achimota School, 66 points. Congratulations, Achimota School for winning this contest and qualifying to the quarterfinal stage. One more, if your score stays the highest for the day, you, will, you can also win the 80 highest scorer award, which at this stage is worth 2,000 Ghana cities. The highest scorer award is sponsored by AT. Life is simple. Viewers do make it a point to join us for the next contest, which also promises to be exciting. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Girl PLC and supported by Joy News. AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Per Student Toothpaste, Better Malt, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cow Bell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont, Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. I am Dr. Anita Oponyo, Christmas Chess, and this is a primetime production. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>